hello you guys thank you for tuning in my channel thank you so much for anyone who is new here like this is your first time watching this video and seeing my face on youtube i really appreciate for you taking your time and listening to me as usual i really am here to give you education to entertain you to open up your mind and share you with a very useful highlights that's a very long introduction i just wanted to reply some information i have plenty of things that i want to discuss to talk in the videos like to create more content but the agency i would say the agency of this matter made me take the camera and do this for you guys so before we go further like <laughs> before we go any further if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel like you have not hit the subscribe button at the bottom should be bottom bottom right or left anyhow um you are just watching this video like that and you have not subscribed to my channel please may you support me just go to that button and click the subscribe button share this video like um <laughs> like this video because the impression the impression that liking a video has is you're making my channel more visible to other people so it's gonna be like in a suggestion anywhere so uh, there's a girl who i am not gonna mention the name uh approached me on my whatsapp like she was being she has been given my content by one person and because they believed i am in a position to give them information and yeah so this is not the first time that i'm receiving questions but i would say the agency and the uniqueness if that is correct like uh i passed through the questions and i was like oh wow i think i have never touched about these matters as personal as they are going to be uh, on my youtube videos so i have not replied to her yet because i was like you know what let me just make a video and put this for more people to see out there and also have her get the response to what um she's curious to know so i will try very quick to go through every question and if there's any question that i've already spoken about but I'm, i have passed through them already um if there's any going to be any question that i've not spoken about um like i've already touched about in one of my videos i'll definitely share that link um in the description box below and i've also share it to her so they are and she just say like these are like some of the questions so i'm hoping to get more questions let's see well so so she's like um she's asking she wants to know if the universities in poland have hostels yes universities uh especially the public universities have hostels and to, to add up more information the prices for most of the university is around they are universities i think in other cities apart from Warsaw, that goes up to 500 watt but i know one that um goes for 700 watt so you are likely to get into these universities when you apply to the university you get admission and also you do another application for the hostels but i think the regularities they are always different from one university to another for example my case with my university i am going to a private university they don't have hostels and i remember when i was going like when i was doing my applications when i was like uh still in tanzania i knew like the system in, in tanzania is is i would say maybe with other african countries let me know if that is the case also um here in tanzania if you're applying for university especially if it's a public university you're guaranteed to get a hostel like your admission comes with a location of your hostels so if it's university of dar es salaam let's say they have Mabibo hostel, they have like hall one, hall two, hall sevens. So you're being allocated. And they say the earlier you do the admissions, like the application and you get your admissions and you confirm that you are going, you're accepting that admission because you might be admitted to many other universities. So the earlier 
you are get, you will apply to the you confirm your admission um the more likelihood you are able to get like um a location of proper hostels like the ones that are in campus and not out campus and my advice always is if you're in your first year it's nice that you stay in campus and you stay in the hostels don't go and rent out outside just to get used to the system of the university to you know you're a newbie so you have to pretty much get a light if you see my camera is shaking like this it's because I am holding my camera using my hand I don't see my tripod I don't know where it's that way so I'll try to be as still as I can so public universities they have hostels but you have to apply a separate application there in Warsaw and private universities mm, you're not guaranteed that was a long answer and then how do people get rooms I already mentioned you have to do the application I think uh, so my advice would be if you already are you, you're very sure that you have uh, applied for a university and they have replied you like you got the admission it is very important that you write to them personally um maybe just send an email tell them so just get, give me how do i go about doing yeah how do i go about doing applications for my university i mean the hostels out there and of course yeah you have options to stay out of like you can rent as for me i was told from the beginning that the university doesn't have, the university that i go to does not have hostels so i had someone who helped me uh, who was already in poland to do the application i mean to to make a research of a good press um of a um like a a small room to rent until when i got there and then i realized that that is not what i wanted i moved to another new place so that is how it's gonna be and you know if you want to know the prices of this um places student friendly prices i think there's another video that i shared accommodation in poland please go watch that okay so oh that okay the reason why i said these questions were a bit personal i understand where this curiosity is coming from you know you're going to a new country you have your assumptions um you have your i would say things that you desire you know like um just something interesting here in tanzania we don't have this high fashion like you know high fashion brands like stores zara h&m uh, i don't know reserved we don't have target so if you get the opportunity to travel about abroad i know for a friend who said um she, he didn't like the fact that now we're in lockdown like they we don't we have the whole corona like the whole pandemic situation because he used to travel for you know meetings and everything and work but then he used he has always been using that chance for him to shop so he travels and buy everything abroad and when he comes home in tanzania he's not buying anything that was a very good um i would say excuse to not shop like to be able to get um things that are very of a good quality and good pricing and so i understand why this next question is very also important because i remember when i was traveling oh I don't, i'm rambling a lot i go there and i go there and then i'm just trying to um to give an answer to to your question <laughs> yeah that is how i am sorry anyway so um so she's like asking me like where is okay anguo like uh she's asking whether clothing and shopping is very expensive um where, where is it like is it in tz or in poland so i would say if you are interested with you know brands like zara h&m target anything you're gonna have plenty of that there and the prices are really reasonable like very reasonable compared to many um i would say brands that are here in tanzania and i've just realized most of them are like they buy I, I don't know united arabs and anyway like asian brands i don't know red tag the whole gsm they are outsourcing sourcing it from somewhere so my tech please please correct me if this is not correct i mean correct me if i am wrong i think pricing of clothing um in tanzania compared to poland poland is much better like the prices are more affordable 
here you afford but it's not the actual like, they are doubling it it's not correct so i have had this uh, issue of not wanting to buy clothes anymore here i only now shop um online or i get some stuff in a thrift like second hand when i go to this mr price and i don't know gsm i'm like oh my god i can't buy this but i am giving a third thought of everything i want to purchase now because i just can't i can't deal with the prices now it's it's, it's crazy well so what are stuffs that we're not told to bring but they are necessary mm, so what things i wish i would have carried them at the first place when i went to poland for the first time that is how i think that is what you mean so i think i would have carried a lot of braids yeah if you're like doing your hair i would carry like i would advise you to have a variety of you know rasta the braiding uh you can have this passion twist like different um, styles carry your own you know um if you have natural hair i am telling you you are likely to have good natural hair products sourced from tanzania because in poland most of them they will not fit your hair like oof, caucasian based products so they won't work so have them for yourself and have braids have just different different things that you know uh suit your hair and you can even sell them because they're very expensive they own their for example in Warsaw, they have only two african stores and i think the origin is nigeria so phew, yeah just have them okay, okay this is not like something to carry like physical physical something to carry in your head is you know you are gonna meet other people from africa and everyone is there for their own purposes like you are going to study some of them have have gone there to get married like you know to start a life like a more long-term dream uh, some of them they're just there to pass time because they like adventures so everyone has their motive and everyone has opinion about something so it is very easy to be carried away like very easy to be carried away by other people's dreams and determination and judgment so um just carry yourself just carry your head and things that you believe very well and don't let any anyone or anything make you lose your focus unless it is really coming from you know your personal self like yourself and you know this is what i want i want to change my decision and everything so don't be carried away um something like that and then other things yeah just carry some african stuff like if you can carry crisps african ubuyu so carry them as much you can as you can masala the curry the chicken masala the biryani and everything just carry them carry them because the only way you're gonna source them um is through the african store or you will find you're likely to find them in the store but if you make them at home they're gonna be not tasting like really african that's why uh that's the reason why when you come back home you are really craving for um african like tanzanian stuffs well the meals does the university provide uh every university uh have their cafeteria or canteen so you they don't give you like you were given a food like you're a student like how how it is in high school no um to that but you are going to get to buy food on a discounted price so you have your id when you go to the cafeteria they give charge you like on a discounted uh, food and even in other stores like h&m uh if you go to like this big uh food courts uh some of the places they char like they give you they have student uh student friendly prices if you just present your id there are so many student uh deals like itunes i remember the apple stores and everything they have a lot of that as well so food university does not give you but you buy at the university on a reasonable price as compared to when you buy outside like to a restaurant or anything how is the syrup divided i'm not very sure what that means 
but i think you want to know the semesters so syllabus depends on every lecturer like the lecturer or the university have their own structures for every courses but um you will just be dealing with semesters so they have like winter semester um summer semester spring autumn so but you only have like two semesters so in a year like for you to complete your first year you need to go through two cycles yeah and then syllabus yeah as i said it depends with a uh, professor but the common structure of how until you finish your first year goes it's um you will have like your class attendance is very compulsory like you can mi you can miss up to three classes with my university i think also with other universities i'm not sure like please tell me if you're watching this video and um this is not the system at university if you're studying in poland so um you can miss up to three classes and like the third like the fourth time you're missing it means you're failing the class so attending class is very compulsory uh you will have group works compulsory you will have group works you will have presentations you will have tests like two to three tests before you do the, your final exam and that is how it goes yeah and then how is this okay and then temporary jobs one can do and earn a living i think i've spoken about it yes uh because most of the student friendly jobs in poland they allow students to work on a hourly basis like you can work uh, up to five hours in a day three hours eight hours depending on how your schedule is so you are likely you, are, you can you will get a, like a job and when you are you must have documents like you must have documents to show that you're a student and they will need your passport just to like make a copy of it they'll need you to have a personal number like something that will be able to you know attach to when you are being deducted tax and everything and some other uses but personal number is very important i'm gonna write it personal person i want it to be personal number and yeah so you can work up to i don't know of a person who works like two jobs and they are students i don't know how they handle that but it is also possible yeah so you you can get jobs and be able to cater for your maybe accommodation or your living daily living expenses and you only have your parents pay for your school fees or some of them are people are able even to pay for their own school fees using these jobs okay oh so she is asking like, i mean break and lunch out you buy and uh, she was asking any strict rules to be observed just be like just follow the I don't know just be because you for especially on your first year don't break any rule like if you are crossing the traffic lights well while it's showing red you're breaking a rule so you are very likely to yeah to be charged for that so be be careful and then something else I remember we okay yeah maybe this is very important uh, make sure you'll be using uh, public transport if you won't be staying close to your university so you'll be using trams and metro and public buses you just don't jump into them without paying so they have public cards that you pay on a monthly basis or you can buy tickets on a you know minutes that you're traveling to university or anywhere so don't ever maybe unless you get used to the country for some times don't ever go to these buses without having paying the you know for the ticket so there are machines and some of them you can even pay inside in the machine but have your card that is like you know just don't go there without paying because you are likely to meet these guys who always check your cards and they'll make you pay like double charging so observe that just be a good person like just be good and follow everything that you are supposed to follow and you just get used to the place slowly you get connected to people slowly and life will get better there okay what time do classes end depends with the university but most of the classes until eight they are done 
and it's not that uh, you have classes every day full time in university not the case um, you might have classes in some of the days and some of the days you don't have or in a day you might have one class uh, one just in the evening or early in the morning so but mostly for example where i am going to until eight or nine not very sure but around that time most of the classes are finished what is the distance between hostel and rooms and classes also this depends with where you are situated if you are like in campus most of the these hostels are not very far from university but if you have rented uh, a room or an apartment somewhere this apartment can be uh, far for example the last apartment that i was going i was living i it was just a metro away like i was just like one stop to my university so i was just taking one metro and the other one i remember i was walking the first one that i got oh i will never forget if i have like a 7 a.m class imagine i would wake up at 5 30 get myself prepared at six sharp i make sure because it was like 52 minutes away to my university and that's a very long like that was crazy so i would take a bus to i'll make sure i time the bus that was going like maybe around 6 15 i'm ready at the bus stop i take the bus and then i remember after that i would take another bus and imagine that is winter early in the morning oh my god I don't know where I have I sometimes I sit back and look at how I was able to get through all these like days I'm just grateful and I am I don't believe if this was really me anyhow so I would take another bus to metro and then metro I would get to metro Slujev I remember to metro like where the, my university is is is, is um, situated so two buses one metro <laughs> that was a lot well so and then another one how do we move to and from either of these oh, okay so buses trams sometimes you walk plenty of bicycles so you rent a bicycle and yeah so phew, 25 minutes speaking about this i hope you will find this video very interesting and very useful and thank you for reaching out to me and uh, asking me these questions not only help you they're going to help more people who are anticipating to join universities in poland and i just want to congratulate you for you know um being very brave to start looking for a place to study out of your country because not everyone is able to do so because of many reasons and yeah all the best and i hope to catch up even more if you're watching the video you don't have subscribed please do so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye